the, the optimist numbers are like they're really just they're like so mind blowing that you're like is this is this real you know if if they do sell at, even at volume for twenty thousand uh, dollars that's that's twenty trillion um, <laughs> so it's like I mean this is bananas numbers you know so we should hold on to their stock. <laughs> We have all seen amazing humanoid robots recently. Just look at this one, came out of a new company and everybody keeps telling us that robots are gonna replace humans. The amount of change we're gonna see over the next five years, 10 years, will dwarf everything that's happened over the last 30. When you start getting that massive amount of disruption in employment, what do you do? The whole nature of employment is going to change. There aren't manufacturing jobs coming back. There aren't more coal mining jobs coming back. No matter what you do to the EPA, they are going to be, a lot of these jobs are going to be gone. Now, even though Mark Cuban thinks we're going to be replaced by robots, I'm going to explain to you why that's not going to happen anytime soon. Let's take a look at the new robot which has taken over the web. Here is Apollo. Man, that robot looks so human-like. Look at it. Walking, picking up stuff. It can do it all. Are we humans out of a job soon? What are we gonna do? Well, this is the presentation on their YouTube channel. Let's go for a live demo. So on their website, he's moving around, moving his hands, and here it's just standing still on a pole and barely moving his arms, holding a sign. I mean, come on, do some movement. Oh, 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 something's happening. That's it. <laughs> so it's barely holding a sign, but on their website looks like this. Talk about the disparity between real life and 3D renders. Hide your women and children! The robots are here! <laughs> so let's take a close look at another live demonstration. Look at the hands here. He's not moving the fingers, just the hands. And look at the ridiculous stuff these guys are talking about. So I'm not going to make you repeat everything. Obviously, this is your alpha robot. You're doing it for uh, materials handling, both in your own facility and Mercedes. Um, how far are we away from beta? Beta? Beta will likely be out in the next 12 months. This robot is going to be in beta in 12 months? Yeah. And that means scale both from a manufacturability perspective, from a cost perspective, but also from a general purpose task perspective. Hey genius, how about you making his fingers move? How about he moves his fingers and walks at the same time? How is this product gonna be in beta? It can barely do anything. Moving out into other areas that require even more dexterous capabilities. This robot working in a warehouse is also all done in CG. And I can prove it because you have a lot of noise up here. I explained that in my previous videos. On top of that, we can see his legs are not touching the ground. Let's have a look on another live demonstration. Robots reminding us about our own humanity. So, I think it's time. Are you ready to see Apollo? Yes, show us the robot walking and picking up boxes. So, um... I'm so excited, I can't wait. I hope I'm not gonna do any mistake here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Apollo the robot. Hello, people. How, how is Austin treating you? Are you digging South by? <laughs> and are you digging South by? Man, I'm sure digging this. But the robot can do one more amazing thing. Watch this. Isn't it funny that the robot's legs aren't even moving? <laughs> We're all out of a job. <laughs> Meet Apollo, your new robot co-worker. The media and people overhyping this kind of industry is just making people depressed. Everybody thinks they're gonna be out of a job next week or something. No wonder young people are losing hope about the future. A lot of these jobs are going to be gone. Now, there, there's still physical things. If you do infrastructure, you can kind of, you know, buy some time, right? It's gonna have to recognize that there are gonna be more people out of work. There aren't manufacturing jobs coming back. There aren't more coal mining jobs coming back. So let's teach my Cuban why this is not gonna happen anytime soon. Let's take a closer look at another robot. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. 
This looks so impressive, right? Just look how smooth it is. So here it looks super smooth and super smart. And then three months later, we see it working in a factory. Uh, why is it moving like a 200 year old grandma? What happened to the smoothness? And why is there a huge cable sticking from the back controlling the robot? What happened to the human-like performance? Why are these tech demos always better than the live demos? So Nvidia had recently a presentation, so let's take a look at a live demo, shall we? Oh thank god, finally a live presentation. I'm so excited and it's the CEO of Nvidia. About the same size. They're the same size, amazing, right? Let's see them on stage in front of everybody. Nvidia. The intersection of computer graphics, physics, artificial intelligence. It all came to bear at this moment. The name of that project, General Robotics. I'm so excited to finally see the robots live on the stage. Well, I think we have some special guests, do we? Hey guys, so I understand you guys are powered by Jetsons. They're powered by Jetsons, little Jetson robotics computers inside. They learn to walk in Isaac Sim. Ladies and gentlemen, this is orange, and this is the famous green. They are the BDX robots of Disney. Amazing Disney research. Disney? Man, I wanna see the robots behind you move. I don't see no Disney robots. The human-like robots, the one behind you. Well, where did they go? You know, the human-like robots that were just here. Why the hell are we looking at Disney robots? Instead of all these robots. There. Where are all these human robots we just watched earlier this video? They're gone, baby. They're gone. One reason we don't see those robots on stage is these robots cost a fortune. They are super expensive and not $20,000 as Mr. Musk says. So even at volume for $20,000, uh, that's, that's 20 trillion. And then the media scares the shit out of people telling them they're all gonna be out of a job. But people get depressed, they're gonna think they're gonna get replaced by Disney robots. <laughs> <laughs> so Boston Dynamics has been creating robots since 1992. They made these incredible robots. This dog robot in the scene with them cost $74,000. While Elon's out there saying that the humanoid robot will only cost $20,000. Oh, don't you love just good old hype. So let's take another look on an old robot made by Honda. But the difference between the Honda robot and current robot is this was all pre-programmed before. And today robots you can use AI to do similar tasks. But even Honda gave up on this amazing robot. So why did Honda give up on this robot? It cost Honda 2.5 million dollars per unit. So how about today? How much does it cost in 2024 to build one human robot hand? One of these hands cost 110,000 euros to produce. Just a hand! You heard that correctly, 110,000 euros. The company breaks down the cost here. If you have 6 or 7 degrees of freedom, you must say it cost between 4,000 to 14,000 DOF. And that's used as a rule of thumb to price off-the-shelf commercial robots. So the hand we just looked at cost 5,000 euros per degree of freedom, which equals 100k euros for 20 degrees of freedom. A hand that has two fingers and seven degrees of freedom would cost 45,000 euros and not $20,000 like Mr. Musk said. So even at volume for $20,000, uh, that's, that's 20 trillion. <laughs> No, it's just in, insane numbers. So, so, um, so we should hold on to their stock. <laughs> Are you serious? That's, um, I should say yeah, 200 trillion dollars. <laughs> this is just an insane, insane number. Um, yeah, 20, 20,000 dollars times 10 billion. So 20 trillion, 200, 200 trillion. It's a lot. It, it's, it's like bananas numbers. So. Um, <laughs> that's why I like, I wonder what does money even mean at that point? So you know? these two hands that are exchanging an egg cost 220,000 euros. Just the hands, forget the rest. 
maybe even less, cause we only see two fingers moving when exchanging the egg. And this whole robot is supposed to cost twenty thousand dollars. You be listening to some guy? You see? This guy is fucking stupid. So even at volume for twenty thousand uh, dollars, that's that's twenty trillion. Anyway, it's just in, insane numbers. So, so, um, so we should hold on to their stock. Then, then there are some people. They're not stupid. They're full of shit. You know who also was full of shit? This guy. This morning, a billionaire founder found guilty of defrauding investors for his $3.3 billion company with technology that didn't exist. We've built something that no one else thought was possible. Trevor Milton, the 40-year-old founder of electric truck manufacturer Nikola, convicted by a federal jury Friday of one count of securities fraud and two counts of wire fraud. You also know who's getting investigated for wire fraud? Mr. Self-Driving Cars next year. Your robot taxi will be making you $30,000 in 2019. Being robot taxis next year with no one in them next year is increasing exponentially. Software is getting better at an exponential rate. I feel very confident predicting autonomous robot taxis for Tesla next year. Not in all, jurisdi not in all jurisdictions because we won't have regulatory approval everywhere, but I, I, I'm confident we'll have at least regulatory approval somewhere literally next year. So this was in 2019. Now we're in August 2024. The jury finding he lied to investors about the progress his company had made in producing zero-emission 18-wheel trucks fueled by electricity or hydrogen, now facing decades in prison. So in 2020, your robot taxi will be making $30,000 a year. So your car has already made you $120,000 uh, in total. What would be the probable gross profit from a single robot taxi? We think probably something on the order of $30,000 dollars per year. And so next year we're gonna see robot taxis that make you thirty thousand dollars a year traveling with space rockets to Mars. His goal was to get the first boots on the ground on Mars by 2022. Since then Elon has pulled back to a more realistic 2024 deadline to reach the red planet. And human or robots that you can buy for twenty thousand dollars. With Musk because there's always something next year. Then there are some people they're not stupid. They're full of shit. <laughs> Don't these people know that it's illegal to lie in investors? Former crypto king Sam Bankman Fried is forfeiting $11 billion in assets as he begins a 25 year prison sentence for fraud. A Nicola CEO. Facing years in prison following his conviction on fraud charges, he promised to revolutionize the auto industry. And then we have Elizabeth Holmes. Elizabeth Holmes taking her last steps of freedom. Holmes reporting for her 11-year sentence after being found guilty last January of four counts of wire fraud in connection to the now infamous blood testing scam in her company, Theranos. She's the former face of the future, now the face of fraud. Holmes was convicted of deceiving investors for more than $900 million. As the central bank and the government lower rates to 0% back in 2008, have invested their money in all kind of phantom projects. And it was all done to generate a yield, a profit for the company. That's why we have all these insane dumb projects floating around the world. As rates go up and these companies struggle to make an income and raise capital, then they're gonna be in some tough times. Greatest investor of our time, Warren Buffett says, a rising tide floats all boats. Only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. And oh boy has Elon been swimming naked with all his phantom projects. So next time somebody tells you a robot is gonna take your job, all you have to ask them is how many degrees of freedom does the robot have? And then you can ask him how much does it cost per degree of freedom? As you see in this robot, it's using two fingers to hold the spoon and not five fingers which would make it more expensive. The great thing about the human body is that it can do a lot of things, especially when you compare it to a robot. So if you want to hire more people, all you have to do is lower taxes or remove the minimum wage. And if you do that, we will price any robots out of existence for the foreseeable future. But if the robots replace us sometime in the future because of being insanely cheap, 
as they did with the car factories, which almost have no humans inside. It would be a good thing because it would make us all much wealthier. Cause now everybody can afford a car compared to back in the days when only the rich could afford a car. Now anybody could buy a car, if not brand new then used. Today we are surrounded by technology we take for granted. We used to wash our clothes by hand. And we used to hang up on long fields like this to dry them. But today we have robots that wash our clothes every single day. And we have very low unemployment. So the robots didn't take our job. We just switched to do something else. Like make YouTube videos. So we should all hope that this technology works out next year. At, as Ms. Marx said. As you see all the issues we have with making the robots cheap. So it's gonna take longer than we can imagine. Boston Dynamics said you can make a cool robot but make a functional one that is used in the industry that is extremely hard. Boston Dynamics started out by making humanoid robots and today they make robots like this which you can buy and use in a warehouse. As we saw how expensive humanoid robots are and the battery life is not sufficient. It all makes sense why they're making robots like this. And this humanoid robot from China is supposed to cost only $16,000. Michael from my Patreon said that do you really want a robot walking around your house making all these noises with your neighbors downstairs? I don't think your neighbors will be very happy listening to all that sound. I mean this thing weighs 35 kilos. And what about battery life? So let's check what the battery life is like on this robot. On their website it says it's 2 hours. So is this really gonna replace us humans next year? I don't think so. One key question is, is it 2 hours just walking around? Or is it actually lifting up stuff? What is included in those 2 hours? If I'm guessing, it's probably some light work. One thing I've also noticed that you will never see the robot walking and using his hands at the same time. On these examples, you see he has a claw in his hand. He has like three fingers, right? But on the shots where he is walking, there are no claws in his hands. It's replaced by a glove. So it looks like the robots have problems walking and having a functioning hand at the same time. Hopefully this improves in the future, we can actually all have a robot, a functioning robot. You know it's one thing to build a really cool robot, and it's another thing entirely to make a robot that's actually useful in the real world. So if you like this channel, you can help support me on YouTube or on Patreon. I'm trying to save money so I can buy a robot made by Boston Dynamics. So he can edit all those videos for me. Humanos, robots, next year, here we come.